Today will be the end of Israel's 24th parliament, which will end Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's year-long tenure. The dissolution of Knesset will trigger Israel's fifth election in less than four years. Last week, Bennett moved to dissolve parliament after infighting made his ruling coalition no longer tenable. The Knesset set a deadline for Wednesday midnight, that's tonight, for a final vote to dissolve. Once the call for a snap election gets the final approval, Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, will take over from Bennett as prime minister or as caretaker prime minister. Lapid will oversee a caretaker government with limited powers, while he will also keep the foreign minister's portfolio. Elections will likely be held either on October 25th on November 1st. But even as lawmakers grapple over the exact election date, the campaign has already become dominated by the possible comeback of former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu's record reign was ended by Lapid and Bennett a year ago when they formed a rare alliance. Now, with the collapse of the diverse coalition opposition leader, Netanyahu has been or is again in the spotlight. Despite being on trial for corruption, Netanyahu hopes to win a sixth term in office. Savis have shown his right-wing Likud party leading the polls, but still short of a governing majority. The anti-Netanyahu camp will likely be led by Lapid, who has sought to cast Netanyahu's potential return to office as a national threat. Meanwhile, Naftali Bennett will stay as alternate prime minister as steps to revive stalled talks on Tehran's nuclear program are on. Bennett will be responsible for Iran policies. Israel opposes a restoration of the 2015 agreement under which Iran was given sanctions relief in exchange for checks on its nuclear program. And for more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from the Knesset premises in Jerusalem. With negotiations ongoing as to the date of the election and which legislation will pass before the dissolution bill does, the expectation is that voting will continue in the evening in Israel and maybe even tonight. While the assumption is that the dissolution bill should pass by midnight on Wednesday, Theoretically, it could possibly continue through the night and possibly even to Thursday as long as the Knesset doesn't stop the session. What is increasingly certain, however, is that the country is expected to go to its fifth election in under four years. This is Jody Cohn for We On World as One. We are still in Israel. Earlier reports suggest that Naftali Bennett would not consider running again, but now it looks like the Yamina leader is eyeing another election run. We on Jody Cohen spoke to Jeremy Sultan, who is a senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister on Bennett's re-election bid and the mistakes the coalition government made in the first year. And there's speculation about whether or not Naftali Bennett will actually even stand in the upcoming elections. What do you think is his thinking on that right now? Well, I certainly hope that he does. I'll put that up, up there first. Look, right now he still has the everyday matters of running the country uh, in his head. He needs to go ahead, pass the mantle over to Yair Lapid, and then afterwards be able to spend the time needed, of course, uh, figuring out what it is in terms of what the path is forward. It's too early at this point to determine which way he's going to go. Does the coalition government have any regrets? That we didn't last longer. You know, it would have been nice to be able to finish out this term or at least be able to go further. I think the biggest regret is obviously on the political front that we were not able to maintain this coalition politically and be able to complete the term. Jeremy Selson, thank you for speaking with Weon. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.